Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews and Tech Channel, and I've had some folks request that I do a comparison, both of these new, uh, the two LED bulbs from Cree, the Daylight and the Warm White, in the same field of view with an incandescent bulb and a compact fluorescent, so you can compare all four together. So I realized my um, living room ceiling fixture does have a spot for four bulbs, so I'm going to take these, put them into the ceiling fixture, and then walk around and see what they all look like so you can compare the colors to each other. By the way, if you're looking to try these out for yourself, they have them at Home Depot, but that seems to be the only local place. Otherwise, if you're looking for them online, I've got a link down below where you can find them online. But let's go out to the living room and see what these look like all next to each other on at the same time. All right, I found a way to display all four bulbs here at the same time. I've got a 60 watt incandescent, 60 watt equivalent compact fluorescent, the warm white 60 watt Cree bulb, and the daylight 60 watt Cree bulb. I'm going to turn the switch on, compare them, and then also do the dimmer with it so you can see how it looks with the dimmer. Here I am at the switch, and there are the lights. This one is the incandescent compact fluorescent. Let me move around here to this side. The 60 watt LED warm and the 60 watt LED daylight. Quite a difference in the colors, isn't it? The incandescent has sort of an orange tint to it. The compact fluorescent is a darker yellow. The, the LED is, is pretty much yellow. It doesn't have the orange so much or the dark yellow. And then this one is what I think people are typically used to seeing with the LED, that whitish blue, really bright stark light. Okay, I've got the two LED bulbs in the ceiling fixture now, which is dimmable, and I'm going to dim them. This is a standard uh, little wall dial dimmer, built-in kind, so I'm going to turn it on with the click. There's some power going up slowly, slowly. Okay, they popped on fairly bright. Let me keep turning, and that's all the way there. I would say they came on fairly bright. Um, it's not like they came on real low. Anyway, let me go back down the dial here. I'm turning down, down, and they are dimming. They are dimming. Okay, now that's pretty low. That's lower than I was able to get it when I turned it on, I think. And there's lower, lower, and then off for the last little bit. Okay, well, what that suggests is if you want to have it at a low amount of dim, here, I'm going to turn it back on again and bring it up very slowly. Still get nothing, still nothing, and then pop. See, that's brighter than if I turn it all the way up and go down. So I think if you need to get it to a low dimness, you'll need to basically go all the way up like that, and then slowly work your way down, and then you can get it fairly dim. But just by turning it on, you can't hit that low level. It seems to want to pop on at, I don't know, at least 50% brightness. So. It dims, it is dimmable. Let me go over and see um, if I hear that buzzing, like the compact fluorescents are just very annoying about doing that. Let's see. Yeah, I do hear a little buzzing. Yeah. But now back here, I'm back uh, about four feet away. I don't really hear the buzzing over the sounds, just the sounds of the house and the neighborhood coming through the window. So if you're right next to the lamp and it's a dimmable and you've got it dimmed, you might hear that buzz. But um, if you are at a normal distance from it, like you have it up in a ceiling fixture, it seems like that's not a problem. Bulbs here in globes, uh, in bathroom fixtures. Gonna turn it on to compare it and then put my face under the light and see what skin tones look like. All right, gonna turn it on and I think it's pretty obvious which one is the daylight, bright white, and which one is the warm white. Quite a difference in the tone. Let me put my face under here and see. There's that whitish sort of pallor. This is the light. This, I would say this is the light that you want if you want to see how the world really sees you with your flaws and everything. This light 
is how you would like to imagine the world sees you. So if you want to live in that fantasy land, this is the light you want to have. All right, I'm a big fan of these bulbs. I think this technology is really going to take off now, but I'm curious about what's inside of here. They made it slightly frosted so you can't see the inside. So I'm actually go, I found out how to disassemble one of these. So I'm going to take it apart and see, and it should still work if I follow the instructions correctly to uh, be able to take it apart and still be able to plug it in and see the actual LEDs light up. So I'm going to go try that now and I'll uh, put a video up of that. I'll put that up uh, over here. You can click on that link if you want to see what actually is inside of these new Cree LED bulbs.